Mo I've come in a bit early today to get that spraying sorted. I think I only need like one more tank, so it's nice and still. We'll get out there, we'll get it ticked off and done. All right, so first of all, I better probably shift Andy's tractor out of the way, then I can get my sprayer out and uh, get filling the tank. Right, I'm all filled up and ready to go. We'll get off uh, and get this spraying done. We're in the field now spraying along it's not looking bad this barley in here normally doesn't do particularly great this field but yeah don't look so bad it's looking a nice day let's play spot the pheasant there he is look Up to another field now it's nice here I like it got some horses as well on Joe Seal's channel. That is uncommon. Quite a long and narrow field this, leading up to the uh, the arched railway bridge at the top. Normally grows pretty good, uh, good crop in here. Fertile land at the side of the river. I am very impressed with this barley. Just looking now, see if we can see any weeds. I think it's drowning it out. Brilliant. There the beast is. Yeah, looking at honey. Yeah, so like I'm knelt down now, but it's sort of 40 centimeters maybe high. Um, so that's why the reason we're putting the growth egg on, we don't want it to shoot really high and then uh, have the weight to pull it down later in the summer. Um, so that's why I'm putting the, uh, the growth egg, straw, stiffener, whatever you want to call it. That's going on now. And then the fungicide, just to keep the uh, disease off the ballot. Right, let's get back in and get this spraying done. So when we are spraying, I'm using this computer and this joystick here to um, move the booms so they're always like half a meter off the crop in here it's quite easy it's pretty flat and level um, so what i need to do is just check the nozzles all the time make sure none of them are blocked up or not spraying out correctly so we're keeping an eye on that and then like i say we're just keeping an eye on the the booms as the, the land sort of moves a little bit we'll just make a little adjustment to um to keep everything the right height from the crop if we had a new fancy sprayer, they do that all automatically. So they have like little radar sensors sensing the undulations of the ground and then it will just alter the pitch. And then the bit that I would personally like is when you get to the end, it lifts up. It, lift, it would lift up all the booms up out of arms way, which, yeah, I would love that feature. I, I, if, you did, if you didn't notice, I put a cut in there because I had to adjust uh, on here the sections as we're going down the field, if you see that's, this is my GPS screen, all those greens are, are lit up green. And that means that we um, need all our sections on. Now mine's not automatic section control, so I have to turn them off manually. So I just watch that screen, see where it goes red? That's when I have to press my button to turn everything off. This is spraying out, these turn black, but you can turn them off like that, yeah? turn them back on ah. I go up in GPS the, the GPS that I made um, that's like free to download um, I use that as my guide to tell me when to turn things on and off supposedly if you are a technical wizard you can make it um, section control for this like people have done it there's like on the forum for I go up in GPS there's, there's um, a number of different people that have done it but I've not got that time to invest in doing that. Um, but if somebody wants, if somebody watches and they like the Agopa GPS and they've made one of them and they want to sell me one, no problem, I'll buy it. Easy, easy peasy. Said we're at the side of the river. Look at that, we've got three ducks, two swans. Hey, okay. you don't get views like that, do you, living in the city? Maybe you do actually in a park, I suppose. 
What's causing the pollution then? This sprayer, you know, the, the um, thousand litres did I have in here? It's a lot, isn't it? How much do you think is coming out of that now? Like, a thousand litres a second? Hmm. I don't know about you, but it don't look the cleanest. Like bubbles, you can see it's like a brownie colour. But no, no, it's, it's, it's this thing, it's this thing here in the field. Definitely. What a beast. Another little field of barley done, ticked off. I was really impressed with this. Not got much grass in here at all. Um, whereas last year there was, there was a fair bit in here. Looks like we've controlled it. It's looking good. And another field here uh, always drowns it out in that uh, side. Very rare we actually get a crop on that little piece of land there. Well, it's busy with pheasants though. It's nice to see. But yeah, now we normally manage to get it drilled and then it just comes wet and drowns it off. Sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. It's really low lying land, there's nowhere to actually like drain it to, um, which is a shame. So I've just started folding it up for the last time today. Glorious sunshine now. So the arms just concertina down and then stand upright and lock off. Back to the farm now. Listen to this. Got it open all the way home. Andy and my dad were just having coffee time, so I think I'll uh, go and have my coffee time. And we've got some cattle to get out, so we're going to take some uh, far, far away from home into some grass. So we're going to sort some for that job. These fellas here will be going out to grass. Put them in the lorry and take them out. Some of these we're going to be worming in the ear. Long acting wormer. I'm just going to fill the lorry up with add blue. We need to get a pipe on this, don't we? Uh, probably need to get an IBC and a proper ad pump. An IBC and put it on a table. Just have a tap. Well, yeah, gravity. Yeah. So I've just had an early dinner and we're going to jump in the daft. I've got the drone, um, so maybe we'll check out the fences around the field with the drone again if it's not too windy. I think it's alright, it can, it can handle. A fair bit of wind can this drone, so I think it should be alright. Better than walking all the way around anyway. We're in the daft, we've got it started up. And we better just go through and sort my card out. Got that all washed out last, I think it was last night, was it? Yeah. Um, and we're going to get these guys in there and, um, or some of these guys, and take them up and out to grass. Yeah. It's nice that you've got some friendly ones, not crazy ones. We're on. Steady, boys. Steady, boys. All right, we'll get these to the field. Well, we've got to our destination. We'll get these dropped off. Come on, then. Nice and steady. So we've got them in now. I'll get the drone out and we'll check the fences. Oh, just make sure there's no major gaps. And if there is, we'll go and investigate a bit further. It's all ready to go.
So that's uh, all the fences checked. They look like they're having a nice time running about in that water. And um, we'll get back home, have a bit of feeding up to do and bits and bobs like that. So that's all. Plenty of straw over there. Cows crossing, don't see many of them around here. Fancy rather stuff to drill or something. now just got the wagon washed out doors are blowing behind me so much wind so we're just going to come in and feed these guys look at them all relaxed chilling so i've just been opening the gates for my dad he's feeding out on the tm a few bits of fodder eating getting done for this evening Decided he wants to spread a bit so he don't have to do them tonight, uh, tomorrow. I think they're fairly clean though, to be honest. Well, you'll see down there. Well, you know I read it. Today's charity event, make some mentions, supporting uh, Yorkshire Ambulance. I nearly forgot who we supported then. Um, it's a happy birthday to James, who has the YouTube channel, Machinery Nation. If people remember back to Lammer, um, we met James and we had a little chat and discussion and talk and bits and bobs. So you can check that out and check out James's uh, YouTube. If anybody else wants to get their name on the mixer, for whatever reason you want, um, it's just a good cause to raise a bit of money for our charity. And there's um, a link in the description below. Um, but yeah, right, I'm going to go and put these two machines back into the shed now. And then that's it, finished for today. So as always, if you've liked it, I'm trying to get out of the wind. If you've liked it, remember to press the like button, um, subscribe if you've not already. And me and Andy will see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow evening, actually, we're having our 18K party. Uh, just having a takeaway. It's going to be a small event, really, but um, 20k might be bigger, eh? So let's try and aim for that. Boom. Right, see you later, guys. Bye.